Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, nerds, blurds, and absurds. You're watching Dr. Sarcophagus drive by, drive in theater. Why a drive by? Because movies this bad need to be seen on the run. <laughs> I'm your announcer, Sassafras P. Sasquatch. And here's the doctor. I'm Dr. Sarcophaga, your Viagra of Horror Host. Why don't you tell them why? Well, a lot of horror hosts just want to make you impotent with fear. Not me, sugar. I want to tin hut you in terror, engorge you in horror, and scare you into a rigor mortifyingly sensational amount of stiffness. So sexy. So sexy. Baby. If Dr. Sarcophagus drive-by drive-in theater doesn't make you climax in calamity, well, that's all right. Everybody has an off night. What are you showing tonight, Doc? Tormented. A story of murder and revenge from beyond the grave. With a running time of about, uh, 15 minutes. Fifteen minutes? <laughs> you know me. I love my movies like I love my garden gnomes. Short and to the point. So, let's get to it. I once loved this island. This is where I found peace and quiet. The peace of waves forever breaking on the shore, the quiet of tranquil moonlight on the sea. But when the night wind rises and the fingers of the fog steal in, they say you can hear voices. They say it's the dead growing restless and calling to the living. I never believed it until that evening Vi came looking for me. But you always knew that marriage was out. I never lied to you. But I always thought that... Look, Vi, whatever you thought is your business. But it's all over. It's finished. You should never have come here, and you'll be doing yourself a favor if you take the first boat back. I can't go back without you. Please come back with me, Tom. Just tell her you changed your mind. Nobody even knows I'm on the island. I chartered a private boat over. I won't even go back to the club. I'll quit right now. Why, will you, for heaven's sakes, realize when a good thing is over? A second-rate singer like me doesn't fit in the picture anymore. I hear she's quite young and has money, too. I, please understand, I'm in love with her. I need you, Tom. No one will ever love you more than I do. 
I'm sorry, God. I'm sorry for everything. Good night, God. I still have your letters. Show me the light, darling. What about the letters, Vi? Oh, I never throw anything like that away. You never know when they might come in handy. I wonder how she'd feel if I read them to her. Putting in pertinent footnotes, of course. Or maybe I ought to show them to a lawyer. I'm sure he'd know what to do with them. How would a lawsuit fit in with your music career, Tom? How would the piano genius of jazz feel about that kind of publicity? Darling, you look as if you were ready to kill me. Now, you get this straight. I'm marrying Meg. And you get this straight, Tom Stewart. No one will ever have you but me. <laughs> Why should I be blamed? I had nothing to do with it. Anyway, nobody ever needs to know. Nobody will even connect me with her. Why should they? Except for this watch of hers. All right, bye. That's the end of you.
Did you get that joke? That was Tor Johnson tormenting that man in the movie uh -huh. called. I got it. Oh, go to the commercial. Tonight's episode of Dr. Sarcophagus Drive By Drive In Theater is brought to you by Children of the Corn Products. Children of the Corn Corn. Children of the Corn Flakes and Children of the Corn Bread. Children of the Corn, when you want your corn on the macabre. It took three fittings to get the bodice right, and three layers of net to make the skirt full enough. Well, hardly seems worth it. After all, I'm only marrying her, so you'll be my mother-in-law. Tomorrow night, I'll be Mrs. Stewart. Isn't that right, Mr. Stewart? I'll be right back. Oh, please, Tom. Just one more. Oh, I, uh... I wanted to get a drink. Yeah, I'll get it for you. Just one more number. I want to show you all. Where are you? I'm over here. Correct it was for me to die, wasn't it? It's not my fault you're dead. Isn't it? I couldn't have saved you. Couldn't you? Maybe you can make yourself believe that, but not me. I was there, remember? You had to shut me up so you could marry me. You got away with that, all right, but now what are you going to do? I'll never let you marry me. You belong to me, Tom. You belong to a ghost. Trouble with making one first slip. You have to go from bad to worse to keep it quiet. What would you do if Meg gets wise to you? 
stop her the same way you stopped me? I didn't kill you, Vi. I never killed anybody and I never will. And once I'm married, I'm going to live a very happy, very normal life with Meg and with our friends. And there's really nothing you can do about it. Isn't there? You may have noticed I've found my voice now. I pick things up fast. I'm going to use it to tell the world about you. I told you, Tom, no one will ever have you but me. Stop it, Pi. Try and make me. Tom Stewart killed 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 me. in such a hurry, Dad. You're always in a hurry. You shouldn't be like that. Give me that. I just want to talk to you, Chum. A nice, friendly talk. That's all. Give me that. You look sick, Dad. Something's wrong. Look, are you going to talk to me or not? Let's get this thing over with. Look, you've had enough time. Do I get the money or don't I? Yes, Tom. Does he get paid? No. All right. You know what's best. See what your chick has to say about this. Get him, Tom. Wait. Change your mind? Get him, Tom. No. Whatever makes you ask a thing like that? Last night you said you weren't sure. Well, I'm sure now. Oh, you'll remember to take the bouquet when I hand it to you, won't you? I'll remember. Suppose he'd done something awful bad. The way I feel now, I'd marry him no matter what. Oh, don't forget. You're really going to marry my sister, aren't you? I don't feel like that. I can't help but... Suppose you love somebody. Somebody who did something bad. And only you knew. Would you keep it secret? Well, good friends generally try to stand by one another. But what if it were something real, real bad? Real, real bad like what? Murder? Dearly beloved, we are gathered together here... Advisedly. ...in the sight of God... ...soberly. ...and in the, and in the fear of, of God. God. Into this holy estate, these two persons present come now to be joined. If any man can show just cause why they may not lawfully be joined together, let him now speak, or else hereafter, forever, hold his peace.
It's intermission time. Our service is friendly and quick. You'll find hot dogs, hamburgers, pizza, your favorite candies, hot and cold beverages, and other delicious snacks. So add to your fun of watching the movie. Visit our refreshment stand right now. We're glad to have you with us tonight. And we hope you'll come to see us often. It's great to get out to the movies. minutes away from the start of our next feature. Still time to visit our refreshment stand. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It, it just tastes so good. I mean, you can always have more kids. More kids. Come on down to Aquaman's Creature from the Black Buffet. Surf, turf, and soul food. It's fantastic. Okay. How can I be sure of that? Good friends protect each other. Yes. But sometimes they can't help themselves. Things leak out. Police hear about it. Do you know what would happen if the police heard about this? I'd go to the gas chamber. Sandy. Sandy, why did you have to see it? I couldn't tell them. No. Nobody could help any of it except me. I could have saved Vi. I could have put my hand out to her. Instead, I killed her. Sandy. Sandy, you know I love you very much, don't you? Thank you, Reverend. She isn't there. I can't imagine where she could have gone. Where's Tom? The least he could do is be here when Meg needs him. Shines, you can see the whole island from up here. You didn't tell anyone we were coming up here, did you? I didn't tell them anything. Good. Good. Let's go back. You afraid? Yes. Sandy, why did you have to see it? Where did 
Lady Finder. Wedged in the rocks. She's been down there a week, I'd say. Yeah, bring him in now. What did you think? Glad you edited it down. If I saw it in its entirety, I would have walked out. <laughs> That's what we do best here at Drive-By Drive-In Theater. And you know my motto. There are no bad movies, only bad audiences. No, the other one. We like to cut to the chase. But for the chase, Cuts, yeah! <laughs> Thank y'all very much for watching the show. Hope to see y'all again soon, you hear? Folks, and a hearty welcome to our drive-in theater. We have a wonderful evening's entertainment lined up for you, one that will provide several hours of pleasurable relaxation and diversion for you and your family. Did you fail to dress up for tonight's show? No tie, an old shirt and slacks, a house dress? Well, don't give it a thought. We're glad you came as you are. We just want you to enjoy yourselves. Don't forget to visit our refreshment center during the intermission or any time. You love the tasty array of snacks we have to offer. So will the youngsters. Everything is quality and mm -hmm, so good. We hope you'll make this a weekly visit. Bring the family, bring your friends. There are always wonderful new pictures to see, delightful snacks to nibble, a gay, pleasant evening for all. Oh, a word of caution. Don't drive over 10 miles an hour in the theater area for your safety's sake. And mom or pop, go with the kids when they leave the car. We hope you have a wonderful time. Come back soon. Mm -hmm.